Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. Today we're going to look at an often overlooked capability in Fidelity PointWise, which allows users to copy spacings or spacing constraint values and paste those to other spacings at the ends of other connectors. I currently have the backstep tutorial already imported into Fidelity PointWise, and the first thing I want to do is come up here to my mask and toggle off the selection of everything, and then toggle on the ability to select directly spacing constraints. This allows me to mouse over spacing constraint values that have been applied, such as these, which are 0.1, these on this lower portion of the mesh, 0.275, and see what their values are down here at the bottom in the mini probe area of the status bar. Up in the menu under edit, we have the ability to copy, and a lot of users don't realize that it's possible to select and copy a spacing constraint value. So if I, for instance, select the spacing down here at the bottom left of the inflow, if I come back up to the edit menu, I can see that copy is now available. I'll go ahead and click on that to copy that spacing value. It says in the messages that it copied one spacing. Now I can go over and let's say I want to have the same spacing on these connectors on this lower portion of the mesh. All I need to do now is use the keyboard shortcut, Control shift v and it'll apply that value of 0 0.1 to all four of those spacing constraints, as you can see noted in the messages. Another interesting capability is that if you copy more than one spacing constraint at a time, if they have different spacing values, Fidelity PointWise will automatically average those values for you to be applied when you paste. So for instance, at the outflow up here, I have three spacing constraints. This first one is 0.75. This one towards the outflow is 2. And this third one is 0 0.68, 69 approximately. If I select all three of these using the control key on the keyboard and then hit control C, it says it copied three spacings. But what it's also done additionally is averaged those three values. So if I now turn around and hit control shift V on the keyboard to apply that, you can see now in the messages that it has applied the average value of those, 1.146, to all three of those constraints. So this actually provides an easy way to generate and apply an average spacing at a common node between connectors if you're trying to provide a nice smooth transition at that location in your cell size. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line down below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all, and have a pleasant Tuesday.